So I'm lucky enough to have tested some amazing TVs in my time on this channel and have continued to go on to use a few great ones for my home and here in this studio, including this 65 inch OLED LG one here and this brand new one, which I'll be showcasing very soon as well. But as brilliant as they are, there are a few things that they lack. Number one, portability. It certainly isn't easy lugging one of these around, especially for outdoor use, which brings another problem, weatherproofing. You certainly can't get them wet. And number three, you're limited to the max size that you buy. So when Nebula reached out to sponsor a look at their new 200 inch, 1000 ANSI lumens, world's first truly outdoor portable Mars 3 projector, I thought, could I see myself switching my overall use for sports, gaming, movies and TV show watching from my TVs to a projector long term. Well, there certainly are pros and cons at play. So as I'm sure you can imagine, it's not a straightforward answer. So firstly, the unboxing experience is quite a premium one. In this world of brand cutbacks, it's actually rare now that you see this level of quality packaging. Similar to what you would expect from a premium console, for example, it gives you that air of expectation. Android TV with Google Voice Assistant, Chromecast built-in and Dolby Audio. Now Nebula are pushing this as a serious explorer type of product for use not only indoor, but also as an ultimate outdoor product as well, giving it shock absorbing, anti-sand and IPX3 qualities. And that water resistance rating is key because not only does it mean it is essentially splash proof, but it also means that it can survive actual water sprays from angles of up to 60 degrees. There is also this protective cover to stop the lens from getting scratched. And as soon as you open that, it turns on and you also get this really cool red LED light on the side that I won't shine it towards you because as soon as that comes out, that would blind you. So we'll leave that and then close to turn off. And it is also 0.5 meter drop proof and dust size 0.7 millimeter dust proof. Now it does have the text 120 inch here and 150 inch here, but I'm told by Nebula and it has been confirmed that you can get a picture up to 200 inches. Not sure why the discrepancy, maybe it is pre-release non-retail packaging, I don't know. And the Mastery also gives you up to five hours of use on the battery alone if you're watching movies, for example, using the 185 watt hour battery, which is again excellent for that outdoor usage. You can get up to two to three feature length films, no cables. And the no cables is because yes, by lifting up the flap at the back, you can use the HDMI port, as well as your DC, USB type A and C and AUX, but also because of the Android TV operating system, as long as you have internet, either Wi-Fi or tethering from your phone, for example, you can get access to content with just this. Android TV means Google Play Store for all of your apps and voice assistant and Chromecast built in, as mentioned. And you have your on-demand apps like BBC iPlayer, ITVX, Prime Video, Disney Plus, and also things like YouTube and Spotify. You do have to download Netflix through the pre-installed Nebula Play app in the form of an APK. I'm not too sure why that is, but it still works completely normally outside of the fact that you do have to use a kind of mouse, which can be a little bit tedious. It's not the most powerful machine also when it comes to pure operation speeds, but it runs fairly snappy. A kind of does what it needs to do to get the job done kind of vibe. And there's really next to no lag when navigating, which you can also do using the buttons here on the handle, which again is great for that portability aspect. You can kind of walk around weights. You could do, no? Okay, let's just leave that one there. Hey, you say me. No. And there's also this really cool LED light at the back, which has three different lighting levels. So you can seriously set the mood for some hardcore entertainment. Now, unfortunately, this isn't the latest Android TV OS with it being 11, which is a bit of a shame, but there may be an update in the future. And it certainly won't stop you from obtaining all of your favorite content and games. And on top of this, the Nebula Mars 3 has a few sneaky tricks up its sleeve. The world's gone AI mad recently, and the Mars 3 is no different. With Nebula's AI image adjust, the mastery can automatically adjust brightness, color accuracy, and color gamut according to the ambient light in the setting you're in. It also comes with autofocus, which adjusts as you move it, and has keystone correction, which can automatically adjust the image of the picture. So even if you aren't straight on with your projector placement, the image won't be skewed. And there is also a Nebula Connect app, which will provide you with a lot of customization and control options as well. The adjustable angle design allows you to elevate the image from the ground up to four meters in the air. So you can place this on a high up surface or on a tripod, for example, using this little guy right here. 
but you don't have to. You have that flexibility. And again, that aids that outdoor use idea. I have tried a fair few projectors now in my time, and out of all of the ones I've tested, this kind of feels like it's a bit of an absolute goat in this area of outdoor expertise. Nebula refer to it as the fourth quadrant that so far hasn't ever really been fulfilled by any other product. They're keen on stressing the combination of high brightness, long battery life, water resistance, and high volume levels, all wrapped up into one product, making it an industry first. The Master 3 has a built-in 40 watt surround speaker and is super loud for a product of this type. And it's insanely bright at 1000 anti lumens as mentioned. For reference, the last portable Nebula projector that I tested, the Capsule 3, only had 300 anti lumens. And the previous gen Mars 2 was only 500 anti lumens. So this is a big jump. Watching movies or gaming on this outdoors is like nothing I've used before. Often with projectors, especially portable ones, you have to be in a very dark room or wait until complete nightfall to use them. And by then, it can often be quite late, especially if you've got young families and you want to watch a movie together, that could be a problem. But you can still see the image outdoors when it's not pitch black, but it won't be as bright as a flagship TV. And this leads me on to another couple of areas where the mastery doesn't quite make the grade compared to my TV setups. The first is resolution. Now, this is layered because at 1080p, the image matches or betters a lot of other projectors on the market. And to be fair, the image is pretty excellent. But compared to my 4K OLED TVs, for certain content, it's simply not going to be a match. And likewise, you're not getting a high refresh rate on the Mars 3. So again, high frame rate, fast paced content or games compared to a 120 hertz TV, it's not going to be able to compete. But that doesn't mean you can't game on here. And to be honest, the experience, especially considering you are in full control of the actual size of the display that you're going to be watching it on, it can be absolutely epic. There's nothing like playing some of your favorite titles on a whopping 200 inch display. Some of the gaming tournaments you could have with friends and family could be insane. So would I completely switch over from my TVs to the Mars 3 for all of my viewing and gaming content and activities? Well, the truthful answer is no. The fact that this is limited to 1080p means as bright and as clear as the image can be for a projector, like seriously impressive, there is no match for a 4K OLED panel in terms of sharpness and detail. And gaming on this is certainly more than doable, but in the cold light of day, it's no match for a high refresh rate, 120 hertz display for smoothness of image, input lag, etc. But that doesn't mean there's not a place for the Mars 3 in my arsenal. And I'm a Chelsea fan. Sorry, that was a horrific gag. To be able to scoop this up and take it pretty much anywhere, go outdoors, take it camping, move it from room to room, you can have a screen wherever you are, and that is invaluable. To be able to use, ow, just broke it. Oh dear, there's your drop test. Hopefully it still works. To be able to use this pretty much around the clock in multiple different lighting conditions is really handy. The fact it has heavy weatherproofing attributes, has great sound, and has the capabilities of supersizing content. If you can afford a fairly hefty price tag, it's a great option. Now Nebula also offer another portable projector, which I have already previously reviewed on the channel, in the form of the Capsule 3, which also offers a compelling option for different needs. Number one, it's more affordable. It's also ultra tiny. It really defines the throw it in a bag type of device. It comes with many similar features like keystone correction, autofocus, and an Android TV operating system. And the fact that it has a laser engine, the darks are so dark that it kind of feels brighter than the 300 ANSI lumens suggests. But if you don't mind this slightly larger form factor and heavier price tag, then the Mars 3 is probably superior in most areas. All the information for the Nebula Mars 3 and Nebula Capsule 3 will be left in the video description below, so you can go through and get more information if you are indeed looking at purchasing one of these bad boys. La! See what I did there? The timing was impeccable for that red LED. Yeah, can't even speak. I think I'll end the video on that one. Follow me on my other social medias, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for short form content on this bad boy. Like the video if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Subscribe if you love everything tech and want to see more long form content here on YouTube. I love you, Nevi. I'll see you in the next one. Say it's BYT. Peace out.